I am Christoph Franek Jr. from the company OpenE. With me I have two other presenters who I would like to introduce quickly as well. One of them is from Avago Technologies. His name is Thomas McCarthy and he should be able to speak too. Hello Thomas. Hello Chris. Yeah, thanks for joining us. And from AIC we have Matt Vu who joined us from um, Belgium. Hello Matt. Hi Chris. Thanks for having me for every for the webinar. Yeah, thanks for being here. I want to start with a quick introduction of the whole solution, then we will talk about each component in a little bit more detail, and in the end, everything should be clear why this is a good solution. So OpenE created a special version for the DSSV7 to be compatible with the Avago Synchro solution. We spent three months working on it and created two feature packs, one for iSCSI and the other one for Fiber Channel. The whole thing is platform independent and it allows to use any kind of um, hardware to be used with it or basically it can run with Intel or with Supermicro and the chassis can also be chosen freely and we will talk later about the cluster in a box solution from AIC. The whole thing this allows the customer and also especially the partner to create a cost-effective storage which is very flexibly used. It has a double bandwidth compared to a normal single cluster solution and half power and heat generation compared to the OpenE active active load balance solution. So it brings a lot of advantages and I think this would be the best point to give over to Thomas who can tell us more about the hardware part, the synchro, the core of the whole thing. So Thomas, please. Great. Thank you very much, Chris. So just to give a little bit of background on how uh, LSI, which is now Avago Technologies, got involved in this, uh, we had done some research. We were looking at the overall uh, server solution spectrum, um, you know, where you have uh, on the high end um, very uh, feature-rich uh, type solutions. Uh, this is typically backed by fiber channel, their storage area networks. Uh, they, they're able to use multiple servers and share storage and provide features like high availability um, and, and other uh, things that, that help to enhance your storage capabilities. Uh, but these are high cost and it requires a lot of uh, specialized administrative support. So if you look to the very low end of that, uh, that's typically the direct attached storage type of solution. And this is single server, single storage. Uh, this is what traditionally Avago served in its markets. Uh, they're serial attached SCSI or serial ATA backed typically. They're low cost. And they, they really don't require a lot of specialization from an administrative standpoint. So what we saw was that there's this huge need in the mid ground, the, mid, the middle of all of that, where you want to bring in some of those features from the high end, specifically high availability, such that you can have applications that would fail over. But you want to maintain uh, the DAS uh, model for cost and simplicity, and also take advantage of some of the performance uh, advantages that direct attached storage uh, has. So we went ahead and did that using our RAID controllers uh, where you could use connect them together and create these clusters and use serial attached SCSI as a backbone. And what you would get out of that is the ability to share storage. Uh, you could reduce your downtime uh, for applications and be able to uh, balance your application loads across different server nodes and, uh, and take advantage of the higher performance uh, going on uh, between server and storage. So, you know, what Avago is able to also add to that is the RAID data protection uh, because you are using the serial tax SCSI uh, as the backbone. So, if you want to advance the slide, please. This is what we're getting with our partnership with AIC and OpenE. Uh, what we've done is uh, we're demonstrating here the cluster and how it's set up. So, and this is, we, we demonstrate this at VMworld. So, we take the data protection uh, value add from Avago and we bring the cluster manageability and simplicity from OpenE and then the flexibility robustness from AIC. 
what we utilize is the connectivity through the expanders in the storage enclosure. And by running through that, we're able to connect both synchro controllers together over a SAS backbone and then share the storage that's in that enclosure. So the configuration also uh, allows you to use that connectivity to detect the failures. Uh, so the first indication that there is a heartbeat that goes down off of one of the servers comes through that high-speed SAS backbone. But also the SAS backbone allows you the ability to take your write-back cache on the controller card that increases performance and then mirror it to the other controllers such that if one of the controllers or servers goes down, you don't lose any data when you fail over to the other server. So that's what we call our uh, cache coherency. But this whole cluster then is managed by the OpenE DSS v7, and that really provides the simplicity that you need uh, to, to have your cluster up and going. It provides the migration capabilities for your load balancing, and then the failover support. Now, AIC also offers a cluster in a box, which takes this total configuration and puts it into a single chassis. And that ultimately gives you a smaller footprint when you go into the data center. So overall, this is a very simple and very, uh, very um, uh, concise and uh, easy to use solution. And uh, very happy to be working with our partners opening and AIC on it. Perfect. Thank you, Thomas. Um, Matt, I think now is the moment we wanted to hear more about the, the, the AIC solution, which Thomas told us so much about already. Yeah, thank you, Chris. Thank you, Thomas. The AIC HA41CP2 is a 4U, 2 node cluster-in-the-box server. It's a hardware platform for highly available cluster configuration. Each node is uh, equipped with the Intel Xeon processor E5 2600 V2 product family and the 16 DIN slots. And uh, it's a cluster node and shared storage and power design simplified cable management and safe rack space. So like uh, Thomas said, you will have uh, two server and one JBAR in uh, for your chassis. The node could easily be installed and uh, house swapped by its uh, sliding drawer design. And the two server nodes are classed via an optional dual 10 gig or non-transparent bridge interconnection. This architecture allows the storage software to implement enterprise-level cluster function to meet high available requirement. The best thing of uh, using, mm, working with uh, Avago Synchro CS is that it will synchronize each other by the internal SAS connection and there's no need to put any extra internal 10 gig or NTP connection in the server. The Avago Synchro CS just got uh, all the jobs done. For the shared storage, each node has one built-in Avago SAS 36 port expander for connecting to the shared 24 disk drives. And for the expansion slots, we offer two options. Option one is two full high and three low profile slots. Another one is six low profile slots. We are very glad and uh, excited to work with uh, Avago and OpenE to deliver the simplified and affordable storage solution to the market. Thank you. Now back to you, Chris. Thank you very much, Matt. So um, in general, what um, I would really like to say here is, and if, if you're for your people who already know the OpenE solution, Comparing both solutions makes it clear that they are designed for two different markets um, and have two very, very big characteristics which make them different. One of them is that the Avago technology synchro solution is based on SAS connections with a shared data. So it doesn't allow you or it's very difficult to place them in two different locations while the active-active load balanced failover in iSCSI allows you to create a matchable cluster so you, ha you are filed against disasters like a flooding or a fire. However, 
the Avago solution offers a lower price point because you can save money as well in the hardware and in the ongoing costs for electricity and heating. And it is a true active active failover. So both nodes give access to one volume at the same time and you have a great performance boost and it can be very, very much, depending on the situation, more performant than the load balance failover as well. So summing everything up, what we've heard today is that we have here a totally redundant solution, which is a full sum storage for an appropriate price. It has no single point of failure. Every single component is in this solution at least twice. So it makes it a great solution for small, medium, as well as enterprise businesses. And the nice thing is that it's very easy to reply. As you know from OpenE, we have a special guide for this, which will help you through it. And of course, you will have the support from OpenE, LSI, and AIC if you try to set such a solution at your customer's site. So thank you very much for your attention. Thank you, Matt and Thomas, for joining us. And yeah, let us know if, if you would like to have a sample of this whole thing. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you.